Hi, I'm Coach Cowlin, and in this presentation, we're going to be looking at acceleration. When most people think of acceleration, they think of getting faster, putting your foot down in the car and going from zero to 60. But that is acceleration, but in physics terms, acceleration is a little bit more complex and can mean some other things as well that you might not have thought of. The definition of acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So that means that when velocity increases, you are accelerating. But when velocity decreases, you're also accelerating. And because velocity is a vector which has direction, if something changes its direction, it is also accelerating. So, the three ways something can accelerate. If the acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity, it will speed up and the velocity will increase. If the acceleration is in the opposite direction of the velocity, it will slow down and the velocity will decrease. As I said before, velocity has direction. So if that direction all of a sudden changes, then it is accelerating. And the sharper the change in direction, the greater the acceleration. So just to recap, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. It occurs when something speeds up, it occurs when something slows down, and it occurs when something changes its direction of motion. Acceleration is not a relative motion. To calculate the acceleration, we need to find the change in velocity. So the change in velocity is the difference between the final velocity and the initial velocity. Vf is the final velocity, vi is the initial velocity, and the change in velocity is vf minus vi. But that isn't the acceleration. The acceleration is, remember, the rate of change of velocity which means it's the change of velocity divided by the time it took to change. So that would give us Vf minus Vi over T. Acceleration is Vf minus Vi, final velocity minus initial velocity, divided by time taken. Acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. Here's an example of calculating acceleration. In the first example, VF is 80 meters per second. That means that the vehicle ends at 80 meters per second and begins at 0 meters per second and takes 20 seconds to get there. 80 minus 0 is 80, divided by the 20 seconds it took to get there, so the acceleration would give you 4 meters per second squared. In the second example, VF minus VI over T the final velocity is 0 meters per second. The initial velocity is 3 meters per second. So that means that this is coming to a halt. And it takes 2 seconds to get there. So 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Divided by 2 is negative 1.5 meters per second squared. As you can see, when slowing down, the acceleration is negative. When speeding up, the acceleration is positive. Okay, so that's the end of the presentation. So what I need you to do is go back through it, make notes on everything that we've covered, complete the examples, check that you understand them, write down any questions that you have, things that you would like to go over in class. I'd like you to think of at least two, and be prepared to continue on working on this in class, and I will see you then. Goodbye.